ప్రేమ శుభలో మాపతి మహాదేవ కి జై పౌన పుత్రానుమానకి జై సిడామ్ ఎవ్రీబడి అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద నైట్ డిస్కోర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద నైట్ సత్సంగ్ దిస్ బీన్ అవర్ థర్డ్ సెషన్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో ది ఫస్ట్ డే ఆఫ్ ది మంత్ ఆఫ్ శ్రావణ్ శ్రావణ్ మాస్ ది మంత్ ఆఫ్ శ్రావణ్ టునైట్ వి కంటిన్యూ వెర్ వి స్టార్టెడ్ లాస్ట్ నైట్ అండ్ ది నైట్ బిఫోర్ లాస్ట్ నైట్ వి did the discourse about somnath jyotirlingam defined what is a jyotirlingam who is som the moon and how did we end up with this somnath when he went to worship in different texts it is said in skan puran i'm referring to as we're going to touch on that in a bit that you and i are like the moon and when bad karm as we were talking about what is karm last night as well the concept that makes us a hindu when we talk about hindu we talked about that word and sanatan dharma is a guiding function a guiding concept in yours and i my life as hindus as we say we went in the depth about that and just like the moon we start to sometimes lose that luster when bad karma attacks affects our life just to put a image in your mind you start to get dark you start to dwindle in brightness and luster but when a person like the moon goes to shiv baba and asks for help and pleads for help then like the moon you start to go from new moon dark to full moon very bright glowing powerful you are at your best strengthen encourage empower by the blessing of lord shiva last night we saw where chandrama or som the moon had done wrong in his marriage and because of that wrong he incurred a shraf we we spoke about the concept of sam dhan dan bed dan dam bed dan sorry and what these words mean puranic procedures to get a message of course to somebody especially if they make an mistake and we saw the father the father law of chandrama try try to reach him try to bribe him try to reason with him intervene very sternly spoke to him very straight forward and when all of this did not work he gave him a shrug and this caused chandrama put him on a path now to lord shiva tonight i wanted to read the discourse that describes the prayer for lord shiva if i am the moon if i am the person that has made mistakes in my marriage in my life in my school work i i did not study i did not go to lessons i went to i told my mother i was going to lessons but i left the taxi to go and you know blind be with friends whatever hang out i didn't do what i was supposed to do i did something else so i broke my dharma the first night we spoke about dharma that is god in the conversation of karma if parab the karma dictates if my past activity dictates that i am a husband i am a wife i am a son there must be correct and acceptable guidelines little things that we must do little mannerisms you must maintain then you are a good husband then you are a bad husband if you don't do it i am a good son if i maintain my dharma i take care of my mother i take care of my loved ones i stand firm for right i do what is necessary i sacrifice and we'll hear about that tonight when lord shiva is in the role to do his dharma as a protector we spoke about that but if i baba is so nice to hear that a guy who wears a gold crown and all these things like the moon when he has trouble he goes to lord shiva very inspiring wonderful discourse but when i have trouble what what to do what to do think about what i'm saying who is going to guide you nard muni comes in many discourses and he says listen chandrama you have gotten a shrap very bad if you go on worship shiv baba you will be able to overcome that sickness that you have 
in, in this case, breeding problems. So he tells him, go and do routine job, go and do X, Y, and Z. And by following that regimen, you will be able to be saved. Good karma will overcome bad karma. Okay? But in our lives, sometimes we don't know how to help ourselves. Sometimes, because we all make mistakes, let's agree, we all make mistakes. But we cannot find, we don't know which way is up to come out of this situation that we have found ourselves in. Tonight, this course, partly, is to deal with that. To give knowledge about the prayer on a Monday. Let me ask you this. Traditionally, in your, in your mother's house, or your grandmother's house, what day when we call Baba to do normal Shiva prayers, Shiv Puja, traditional, what day we used to do Shiv Puja? Somebody say Monday. Monday. Now you see right here, I'm telling you, everybody, leave me a comment. Let's forward this one time. Share this satsang before these little gems that I'm going to repeat. The information about that prayers on a Monday, very, it's very pertinent to many people's life. And if you have the verdan, if you have the blessings to listen to this discourse tonight, God bless you. If not, unfortunate is you. Because this, this is a lot of information that is about to be unpacked, but dissected and digested in a way that you will understand it. And we are going to see the picture of the moon, the moon and his relationship with Lord Shiva. His position and what gave him that position. Tonight, we are also going to touch on Bhagavad discourse. Because somebody says, Baba, I heard you're talking about Shravan, Shravan, Shravan. What is Shravan Mass? Where did Shravan Mass start? And it has to do with our same Chief Baba. In fact, as I told the members in the group for the ashram, Shravan month, this month, this day, today, that started today going on for one month, the mid-August, I, I, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking somewhere around the 15th, it's finishing of August. I could be corrected on that. This is the month. If a person does a Shri Puja anywhere else in the year, God will bless you. No argument. But if you do it in Shri month, in Shravan month, you get 108 times added, 108 times multiplied the benefit. This is the most potent month to worship Shiva. And the question is why? Tonight I want to give the history. To give you the blessings of Shravan as we are starting our first night. And I'll give you a little information about what we're doing in the Ashram. And if you would like to get involved, you're welcome to get involved. Wherever you are watching. If you're watching me on Facebook. If you're watching me on WhatsApp. If you're watching me on, on YouTube. If you're watching me on Sankhya. Get involved. I'll have my number. And the onus will be on you to go towards your God as you get the information you need. Principal Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai. Devotees, please, we have a lot to do tonight. And I apologize, I already started a little late. Please put your hands together. And let's pray to God. Garish Baba, a third night of our Yagya. And we thank you for the medium by which we could sit in our homes comfortably, safely from virus and listen to your discourse, Prabhu Vigneshwar. Please allow us safe passage into your discourse. Please allow us the knowledge to understand and to reveal the mysteries of our prayers, our dharma to all your children, God. Ganesh Baba, you are the God of wisdom. And if you provide the opportunity to your children, they will blossom in their mind to understand the concepts of their dharma and they will walk closer and closer to you. Prabhu, please bless us tonight as we pray together with one voice, simple prayer. Om Gajananam Bhutaganadi Sevitam Kapeta Jambu Palachar Vakshitam Uma sutam sho kavinashkarakam 
नमामि विघनेश्वर पाद पंकजम सर्व मंगल मंगलिए शिवे सर्वार्थ साधी के शरण्ये त्रयंबिके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते ओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः ओम श्रयंबकम् यजामहे सुगंधिं पुष्टि वर्धनम् उर्वारुकमिव बन्धाना मृत्यो मृत्यो मुक्षिय मामृतत् उमापति महादेव की जय सीताराम अगेन एवरीबॉडी जी केम इन लेट tonight we enter firstly in the skan puran skan puran is going to discuss for us something about the prayers that we offer on a monday simple question let's be talking that child why do you pray to lord shiva on a monday i don't know mommy i don't know daddy i don't know pandit i i don't know mommy just tell you on a monday with this dear one offer with her if you do that if you are a bhakt of lord shiva i want you to ask yourself this you worship him on a Monday, I fast, I abstain from certain things on a Monday. Why? Monday in Hindi, Hindi is Som, Som Bar. Som Bar is the proper pronunciation. Som has nothing to do with Lord Shiva. Som is another name for the moon. Som Bar is the day, Monday is Moon Day. Shani Var is the day of Saturday. Sukra Var or the, the, the planet Venus is Friday. Guru Var or Brihaspati Var day of Jupiter. Brihaspati. So those are the days of the week. Any Hindi class you'll get up. So that has nothing to do with Mahadev Bhava. So tonight we have to understand this. We have to understand the history, to understand the valor of doing a prayer on a Monday. We want to be like the moon. We are all sinners, including myself. Trust me, I have no reason to lie to you. In order, in order for us to make this work, you have to understand the truth. If, if I knew everything, to be honest, I would have been with Lord Shiva dancing on Kailash Parma, free from karma, pain, sickness and suffering. Just as an elder has a little insight in life, pundits have a little knowledge, gathered from texts. Some people have gifts, but if we were so blessed, any person, any priest, pujari, any person who have gifts, powers, divine sense, clairvoyancy, whatever you call it, they would have found the goal in life. Remember we spoke about dharma, art, calm, and moksha. Dharma is your duty, your job, your behavior, your role in this life. Art is a word for financial gain, monetary benefits, property, whatever. Ownership, I have the best kurta, I have the best rajaks, mala, whatever. Whatever property is, not only money. Calm is not only sexual or sensual action, action. You, 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 love could be for your sister, love could be for your nephew, love could be for your mom, love could be for your favorite puppy, love could be for your garden with the best flowers, love. In addition to sexual and sensual love, calm. And some writers talk about art and calm that could lead to mukti or moksha, liberation, freedom. But in our discourse last night, Chandrama gets caught up in loving somebody and ignoring another person he had given vows of marriage to. 
So love could also be the problem with love is you could show love to somebody, but then you could take away, you could not love somebody. We in marriage, some people go through divorce. It's a fact. And you promise to love at a minimum, you promise to love. And I, as a public, as a marriage officer, I'm telling you, many times boys sit down or girls sit down. How we reach here? How did or when did we stop loving one another, Pandit? Is it a gra? Is it obia? What what caused that? You see, when you don't have compassion, think about it. When you break your dharma, that is what this causes. You you gave your word that I am going to be your support. I am going to let me use the traditional lines we see on TV. Till death do us part. I will love you. I will care for you. I will protect you. I will have compassion for you. Think about it. I love you, but I don't. I don't feel for you. You could be in pain. You you could go hungry. I imagine this. Tell me. Tell me what you think about this. I I grew up with a mother who who would always you know you're going to took your hand in the little takari whatever she have. Make sure and leave for whoever have to. That's training. I don't know how to describe that. I don't want to say manage, training. Let me go with training. Caring to some extent too. Other people have to eat. What would you say for a husband who goes and says, okay, well, I'm going to keep all this without considering who else have to eat? What about that? A, a different level of greed. That is breaking dharma because you expect a husband and a father say, Gil, did you eat? Because of the lessons my mother taught me till today, me and prayer, if we go to prayers and the people I have so highly, two hours ago sit in one leaf and she teeth in my chan and I teeth in she wrote and so we go. I don't, I don't mean in front of anybody. I try and I'm, it just seems it to inspire other young couples to have it. We don't have it perfect, we fight sometimes. But if I eat it, I had to push peace in she mouth. Because that is the promise I make, that, 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 is, that is what I, in my life as a man, as a human, try to aspire to. That I took you from your father's house to show you happiness, at a minimum, happiness. We may not have all the money, we may not have everything you wish you had in this life. But at least as far as my ability go, I am going to do my dharma, my dharmic duty to make you happy. And I, uh, I hope... I would find and be motivated in within her heart to return that happiness and then in marriage will have happiness. In this example, the moon didn't do that. He broke his dharma. He forgot about some of the girls that he had married and he only focused on one person. In today's world, people get married to somebody and they have somebody on the outside. And they show that person all the joy, happiness, they share all their love, they share all their thoughts, they share everything with that person. And then they go home to the real wife or husband. And they are like a drone, like a zombie, they are numb, they have no feelings. These are examples of breaking the Dharma. How will you find God if you're living like that? In Gaur Puran, when he talks about taking a hot piece of iron and sticking it into the, 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 the area where any woman, she has the ovaries and the man, where the gonads, the different sexual organs, sticking it there. Because you have so much of yarn and you want to live and hurt people. For sexual pleasure, you want to cheat and go with this one and go with that one and forsake those hard working, hurting people in your house. Why did you marry? That's all I'm saying. Why did you marry? You're incurring sin now. And this is what happened to Chandrama. He incurred the reaction. It came. The curse came. The karma came. The hardship came. Sickness comes. We enter into Skan Purana because we want to help ourselves. We want to work our way. We are going to do the Dharma now. I am a sinner. We are all sinners. We are like this moon. What could we do to help ourselves from it? Please understand where we are going. And in doing it, we are trying to fix the Dharma. Get back yourself in alignment. If tonight you listen to anything last night, you listen tonight and it hit in you. You know what? I made that mistake. I did that. Today I was 60 when I was 19. I made that mistake. For some people I'm 40. And I feel I was 18. 
and I'm making a mistake right now, let me catch myself. And I hope I could motivate somebody to do the right and to live by their dharma and act your age and do what you should be doing. I wish I could do that. I don't know if he would permit it for these words to activate in your life. Last night, what did we talk about? The Puranic methods to get through to somebody. Pandits do it all the time. Some, they give you wise counsel. Offer that on a money. Baby, we start to bribe. We say, you know, well, you know, if you offer milk in it and you offer sugar in it, when you give Lord Krishna sugar, you, the, the karmic reaction, you'll get happiness, so you should offer sugar. When you check the patra sometimes, in the patra it marks that you could die. Sickness is coming, please pray. And we intervene now, you need to do something drastic. And then, to tell you the truth, then we walk into a nursing home and we read the Gita over the dying individual. The sickly, the person who has now, you take your hand and you beat your mother and you beat your sister and you beat your wife and you do everything and when God starts to take his stroke and wring your body, everybody will feel sorry for you. Everybody. No argument. We have compassion, but you didn't feel compassion for the people around you. So when karma comes and your body is twisted and one day you'll be mangled in a coffin just like everybody else, the pundit will come and do the final untish the sanskar freely for you. Happily, he will come and sing over your box. Do, will you wait for that day? Or will you heed the warning? This is why Lord Shiva did this. Heed the warning, please. Heed the warning. And you're going to hear a verse from our bag. What in a little bit. If you have your questions, tell me a message. Send me a message. Do you agree with what I'm saying, ladies? Husbands out there, daddies, mummies, with children. Am I saying something wrong? Or you tell me? Please remember to share the satsang. Let's enter to this part now, chapter 25. I'll post the volume, I don't have the volume in front of me. It's Kalm Quran I'm reading from. Description of the Somval Monday Vrat. Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatma Inamo Nama Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatma Inamo Nama Munioko Bhavanatyatam Somnatye Lingo Bhavanyate Parikramya Purushayate Stotra Mahima Ye Brata Mahima Somvat Brata Somnat Linga Upasayet Nila Griyatam Vrata Mahima Shiva Lokyatim Vata Vada Chandra Lokyati Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatma Inamo Nama Pumapati Mahadeva Ki Jai In this section of Skan Puran, Agandharva is asking. Lord Shiva about Somvar Brat. I have heard from who that there is a correlation between you and the moon. And when a person worships on this Monday and they do the Vrat, that all destructive ailments, all sit, sit he, these benefits are bestowed upon that ardent devotee. Please, Prabhu, please give me details. Please tell me about it. So says, this Vrat can be performed throughout the year. On a Monday, any time in the year. It causes auspiciousness regardless to the ashram, to the, to the caste, to the gender, whatever your position is, rich, poor, whatsoever. Everybody gets some form of benedict benefit or benediction from this drug. Seeing good results, therefore, it should be performed by both men and women. In past, Brahma, Vishnu, Indra, all devotees worship the God of the moon. 
Where did this start? It was first performed by Som Raj, Som, who is the moon, Chandrama, when he was given the shrap from Daksh, his father-in-law. That is what we read last night. Fully devoted to Shambhu, he worshipped him using particular mantras. For those in the group in the ashram, I will send these mantras for you. Don't worry. The, the procedure to do the prayer. I'll write it down. I'm reading it tonight. The moon would go and pray to this lingam that he had installed, offering different types of fruits and flowers. And after a long time, a very long time, to be fair and to be honest, the moon did not jib. Do you remember last time we spoke about that? Will you give up when things come? When hardships come? When stumbling blocks come in your prayer? Are you one of those people that think prayer is a waste of time? You know, there are some people, maybe their mother did not teach them properly. This is the role of a guru. To have the, 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 the culture, to have the brought up seat, to have the training of faith. Not everybody has that. And it is so sad when people like this, as if they are zombies, they have no beliefs, they have nothing, they cannot speak. If you put them to speak, they cannot have a conversation about who they are, what they believe in when it comes to this topic of spirituality. How do you train your children? Last time we spoke about the father is the example for the child. This is why today we have so many monsters. Because it is as if the father is absent. There are many homes, women tell me very often, being married to this man is being divorced and still living in the same house. This is one is the same. It's one and the same. If women are educated and they have that independence financially, many people would not be married. And all you know what I say. But the modus of insecure men is that I must rob you of your independence. I must rob you of your opinion. I must suppress your opinion. I must keep you down like a doormat. In our Dharma, please remember it's Kali Mata that had her neck on Lord Shiva. Not encouraging to beat anybody. Eh? But women are supposed to be empowered. A mother cannot be a weakling. We don't encourage that. I wouldn't want that for my sisters and I would not expect you to want it for your daughters. I don't expect it for mothers out there. Those were those days. Those were those times. Those times don't exist. Of course the girl has her dharma and you have your job and you be honest in your marriage and faithful and everything. But you're not a doormat. Remember that. Lord Shiva listened to the prayer of this moon and then what was the problem was remember because of the shrap what we talked about last night he started to lose his energy he's, he had consumption he had a breathing problem and his body could not be fed the oxygen that it needed so he started to lose the luster he started to get sick and the karma of his deeds started to come to him and it was affecting him but when he did the prayer, Lord Shiva appeared, Lord Shiva healed his body and heat started to pervade in his body. It was as if somebody, you know when you pull up the wick in the deer and it started to get bright, purified from his sin, given forgiveness now because of the past chip karma that he had performed, the moon was now healed and reinvigorated, empowered to do his job as part of the now ground. Ever since then, People have followed, O Muni, people have followed this vrat upon the earth, attaining purification of the body, like the moon, and they go to Chandralu. I shall describe to you, O great Gandharva, I shall describe to you the mode, the procedure of this vrat, and the blessed is the person who can follow it. Blessed is the person who can follow it. First thing he says, this is a vrat to be performed on any Monday. Any Monday. Get a Monday and worship Lord Shiva. But look for the bright heart. Why the bright heart? This is when the moon is very powerful. This is when the power of Lord Shiva is saving the moon, giving him strength. And likewise, we want to worship him at that time. Early in the morning, Brahmuda, the devotee, cleanses his teeth. Using, according to here, different twigs. In today's world, 
people use, we buy different type of herbal toothpaste that have different types of oils and different cleansing mechanism. And sometimes people ask me, well, Baz, why is that important? That one and those things are gone. Those things are long time thing. I remember one time my grandfather tried to show me how to use that one and I thought that was ridiculous. But as you get older and you learn that inside the plant has the medicine that is in the tablet, then you realize that these older people didn't have to run dentists like you and I. I remember my grandfather was so old and he could rip cane with his teeth. I can't do that now. But what did that one had? The different twigs have different nourishment for your gums to save your gum disease and all these things. When a person reads their patra and they hear, okay, I have a bra, I have a dosh, I have a problem. In my birth chart, there is an issue. I put it in a simple language. When the moon, listen to what the moon causes. When a person is afflicted by the moon, in their body, in their mind, you know when they say I have a bra, but we know what I mean. This is what you mean. Indecision, lack of mental balance. They suffer from over anxiety. If the moon is afflicting the person and it is under further pressure from the, pla the planet Mars or Mangal Luta, the person becomes rash, impulsive, reckless. They could become abusive, develop strong attractions to the opposite sex. So they become out of control, lusty, leave their relationship, commit adultery, make mistakes, and then say, when somebody said, why did you do that? Oh, I wasn't thinking, boy. I really didn't mean to beat you or kill you, you know, I cut your neck off. I didn't mean to kill you, you know, I didn't think it. Causing ill health and bringing bad reputation. The person is, people don't like them. You know, there are some, some people, everything I say, everything I do, no matter what I try in my family, with my in-laws, in my job, nothing, nothing, this could be a problem. If the moon is afflicted by Shani or Saturn, the person will be depressed and have the worst form of depression. They might become suicidal. He will have fear or she will have fear. Inferiority complex. One of the worst types of inferiority complex for a man to have is when you feel deficient because of your sexual inability or your impotency. And that causes a series of problems. If there's anybody viewing and you are fighting in a marriage because of the attitude and the difficulties that come from a person who is sexually conflicted, a person who is going through some form of inferiority complex. You know when a man marries a woman who is making more money, there's going to be trouble. When a ma an ugly man married a beautiful actress, when they see them, they want beautiful ladies looking to die. Tell me, Farrell, you want the pretty girl, you want the pretty girl, I run him behind the pretty girl, I get the pretty girl, pond it, I got a nice girl, you know, watch you. But when everybody else watch the pretty girl, for anybody who good looking, my experience when women talk is better the ugly. The attention that you get anywhere you go but then you always you have a man that you're a man you have, you're, 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 you're cheating on me you have somebody else and you do nothing yet that type of inferiority complex is not a problem with the person the other person what did you wrong for she pretty she intelligent she have a job what's the flow could it be the flaws inside of you that you cannot appreciate that of all the people she could have married, she could have fallen in love with, she chose your ugly tail? She chose you and stupid you cannot appreciate what you have. Unfortunately, it's only the day you lose it, like the moon. Only the day you lose it, then, you know you miss the well when it runs dry? Only then. He becomes a very pessimistic person. The glass is always halfway empty. He will have a weak concentration. Afflictions of the moon interfere with family life. Diseases that are caused by this planet, every eye ailment, anybody who have eye problems, send my message. It has prayers to say, trust me. It works. 
lunacy, paralysis, epilepsy, dropsy, common cold, major cold, consumption, well, because of this thing, he was now the planet that caused this. Intestinal problems, tumors, throat trouble, throat tumor, cysts and growths that press on your vocal cord, asthma, bronchitis, varicose veins, complication due to excessive drinking. I think that's straightforward. So if you want to break somebody's addiction, we worship soul, we worship Chandrama. There are mantras for this, trust me. He was addicted to Rohini and that's why this came about. Dispersia, dysentery, diarrhea, nervous debility, to fix this. Gastric trouble, cancer and typhoid caused by this plant. When Sir Narayan Swami gives him the job that you will become one of the Nagraha, when people have karma, you will give them those type of sickness. You will give them those type of trouble. So what that is showing you, remember last time we talked about karma. The moon becomes the adjudicator. He says, well, you do bad, take bad. You're getting cancer. You do bad, take bad. You're going to have problems in your marriage. And that goes both ways. You could be the aggressor, you could be the victim. Karma. Why am I in this position? Karma. What do we have to do? Pray. Positive karma and come out of it. How to do it? The Som Vat, remember, is the prayer that was practiced by Som, the moon. We are not praying to the moon in this case. There's prayers in that book guiding you know how to pray to the moon, grub, shanti, mantras, etc. This is something else, but you'll hear the benefit. This is to Lord Shiva. The person gets up very early, Brahmurat is that early hour before the sunrise. Very early. You, let me say usually, just for children, on the sun, 4 o'clock in the morning. You get up, you go to the washroom, clean your body, bathe, etc. According to the code, the dharma of our activity. So we have rules to follow. In a pleasant place, in a clean place, spread gobar. Let me say a bathe, you know. Put your kalsa, mango leaves, on top you put a coconut. And then on the side have your lingam. And you're going to worship Somnath. Call on Lord Shiva. And never leave out his goddess, Uma. Worship them. Worship the different. Sometimes when you're doing advert, you have one kalsa here and you have eight around. Four, one, two, three, four, and then four in the corners of the baby. So it looks as if you have nine kalsas on the baby. Using mantras, you offer flowers, food. People make different types of sweets. And they worship Lord Shiva, they call him Pin. I don't know if you ever saw it, Lord Shiva has a, a form where he has five head. Panch Mukshi form, there's, a, there's a, a name for each one of the faces. It's a nice discourse, I'll read it for you one day. He says, if a person does that, that is the Somvar Vrat, that's it. That entire thing I described, and often on the Lingam, milk and so on, these different things, like what we'll be doing for the month of Shravan, this is the Somvar Vrat. He says, however, when people have different sickness, like eye problem, glaucoma, when you have family problem, when you are dealing with somebody who is epileptic, when you are dealing with somebody who has different types of ailment, when you are dealing with a husband who is so insecure that he's constantly attacking you, attacking your chastity, and he doesn't see that it is wrong, you know the person is, the person is honest the person is straightforward but you are so inferior in yourself that you need to break this person your mind and you become the aggressor remember in Trinidad you have a high rate of domestic violence and why is there maybe the bad young lady again you know the odd one in between who just take up tower to pot and does damage break bone I'm telling you there are some men but our culture a man would shame to see but it does happen, I'm not saying no to that. So in all fairness, men do go through a hard time. They are 10 to 1, men are the aggressors. And the root cause of this aggression, usually, is they have an inferiority complex over something. And they don't want to deal with it. Then, on a Monday, the Solaha, the Solaha um, Sombar Brat is to be done. 16 Monday, we are going to do worship for Lord Shiva. On the second Monday, use Kanjara is a, a type, it is a variety of tree. I don't know if it's in Trinidad because there are many trees that are now in Trinidad. 
Dr. Treya Yoga Center brought many things like Undumbra and all these other plants that never was here. It came and they're growing all over, nice and healthy. This type of tree is used to fix your teeth. An orange fruit is offered on the lingam. When a person offers orange, the, the fruit, skin disorders come under control. When a person offers orange, ripe orange fruit in Dan, it gives on a Monday, a person gets the blessing as if he has fed 100 cows and is giving these cows in charity. So easy it is to please Lord Shiva. On the third Monday, the person uses upper marg tree, a branch to scrub the teeth, and then goes to worship Lord Shiva in the tri nature or the tree eye form, using pomegranate or anar to offer to him. Sometimes people juice it and they offer it like a dar. Now, what I'm calling out here is not the only thing. We still put in sindhu, saffron, flowers, incense, arti, kasaili, coins, etc. This is the odd stuff. The pomegranate is offered and jati flowers. Jati flowers is a small version of the chameli, like how it has the double row chameli, which is smells sweet, very sweet scent. Jati flowers is offered and the person in the night eats grapes for dinner. And this person, when they worship Mahadeva Baba, gets the blessing to live in Shivlo Kailash Parvat as a attendant for Lord Shiva. On the fourth Monday, Using Udumdumbra, Indian fig tree, to brush the teeth, he devoted worships Gaurisha. Gaurisha just means Lord Shiva in the form of he is the Lord of Gauri Mata. Sometimes in the Pitya you might see he Parvati Mata and the cow, or if they on the cow, or the cow is anywhere in the Pitya. She is the, that form Gauri Mata, and he is the Lord of Gauri. Worship him with that name. Suksham Sharir, Stula Sharir, and Karana Sharir is Devi in three different astral or ghostly body. So that is something we hear about in Garpran and Vishnu Pran, where they talk about the soul coming out of the body and how does the soul look. And then when you offer the Pinda for the 10 days and you create this body, when the soul comes out of the body, it is like the shape of the Dialite, Shuksham Shadi, the size of the tongue. Worship Devi, the, the form together with Shiva, in the Shuksham as a Dialite. So sometimes if you ever see people, Arti, a Dia, and Arti, the Dia, the next Dia, this is what they're doing. They offer Narayan, coconut, whether hooks or not, once the, the, the eyes are covered, why somebody asked me, what is the big fuss about these eyes? There is no fuss. Please understand this. People talk about the eyes, you have to reveal the eyes and all this kind of thing. Whenever, from an agricultural perspective, you take off the little cap that blocks those three eyes, you have now made the coconut unfertile. The coconut is made in such a way by, the, by God that once that cap is there of the hops around, the eyes, there in time, if the conditions are right, a sprout will come from one of the eyes. The shoot comes through one of the eyes, and the seed now becomes a plant. So when you uncover it, somehow it is not going to grow. It is as if you damage the seed. It is just made like that. So truthfully, in Hindu prayers, we don't want to uncover. And so when we make the peak and all these things, it is to represent the dear light that we are worshipping. The life inside the coconut is the jiu or the shakti that we are worshipping. We don't kill the, 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 the animals, some people do. Instead of killing the animal, we break coconut, we worship the coconut. Why? Because it is a fertile seed that will sprout into a plant. So the same life energy is there and I worship that as God. For this reason, people would not even shave the coconut that we put in the fire because what we want is the life in the coconut. So when we hear water and we know it is a complete shell, a good coconut, to our best knowledge, this is what I'm going to offer to Durga Mata, Krishna Arpan and Nihawa. Offer coconut here. And by doing this, at night the person eats Sakarya sugar. The, the crystal sugar, you get it in puja stores, and so we use it for your sugar actually. And you wake through the night, that Monday night into Tuesday morning. On the fifth Monday, the devotee worships the Lord Ganapati. 
Now, Ganapati does not mean Ganesh. Ganapati is a position. Like, let's say you say Sergeant, General, etc. Lord of Ganapati or, or the Ganas, all the assistants of Lord Shiva is really Lord Shiva. But he appoints Ganesh, he appoints different people. Lord Ganesh is not the only Ganapati it had. So Gana or the Lord of all the Ganas is the same Shiva. And he is accompanied by Vibhuti or Vaibhava Lakshmi. Vaibhava is a Vibhuti is another name for Parvati Mata or Uma Mata. So when people go and they get the Havan Basma like Shivratri or when I'm doing Yag, and the, the proper way is to take the ashes from the Havan when you don't and put the cup on everybody to get the energy or the Vibhuti. Vibhuti is another name, another form of the goddess Uma Parvati. So when you put that Adi Shakti on your forehead, understand the value. Have you ever seen Gatatriya? Swami? Swami Ganapati. Guruji always has a black tilak. That black tilak is coming from the Hawan Basma or the Vibhuti. When you go by Sri Satisai Baba in Puttaparati, what do they give you? Vibhuti. Worship Mother in that form, with that name. Adorn her with Kunda flowers. Kunda flowers is a variation to what we might call high discus flowers maybe a little more bigger and we continue going on like this six seven in some instances people worship to the eight monday each monday as you progress in this brat i will do a table like what we did for the ganesh brat and list it out for you for the devotee who wants to know about this on the ninth you're going to do your final puja and this is where you're going to worship Mali Baba, where in the five-headed form again, you offer different flowers, different prasad, and you're going to get blessings. Nobody in that family will be born to endure poverty, misery. People who cannot have children, have children. People who are barren will become pregnant, will become happily, you know, parents, all these things. People who have the the unfortunate experience of stillbirth, miscarriage, 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 they would be able to have a proper pregnancy. By doing this drug, just as Som was able to overcome his sickness, sick individuals that worship Lord Shiva. And at the end of the prayer, one of the features of this prayer, you mix ghee, milk, dahi, cow urine or gau mutra and govar or the five products that come from the cow, the purifying agents, and you bathe the person. If you go to a wedding, you will see them bathe them before the sanskar. If you go to Janil sanskar, you will see them bathe them before the final part, before the kush grass um, Janil is placed. It is a cleansing effect. So the person is doing the press and they want to be purified of this. So at some point in the puja, they must have a bath. And with certain things to cleanse you from what? Not physical dirt. But you, you bear with these things to remove the karma that is holding you back, that has you sick, that is plaguing your life, etc. Similar to this, if a person should do these things when they have conflicting patra, remember when we read about the moon, and the moon is caused epilepsy and all these other things that are described, a person would become freed from those things as a person who does his own barbara also pleases the moon. Because you are following in his footsteps. Blessed is the person that is able to do this. Sombar Brat. Prem Mahapati Mahadeva Ki Jai. When a person, when a person does this Sombar Brat, remember what we talk about it. Eh? If you have intestinal problems, epilepsy, if you have a, a spouse that is given problems, I want you to understand that tonight as we are talking about solving your problems fixing your problems why do we have satsang people have real problems out there and we need to know we need to have the knowledge of how to fix it and when you diagnose the problem where is it coming from then we know how to shant it for example if a person has the moon there are different remedial ways different mantras different things to offer in the river, in the water, feeding different animals. It has to do with the bird chart. And when 
you know what like let's say one planet and another planet not only that moon alone is giving problems or the, the features of the problems sharing milk giving milk in charity i have a yog in the village i would like to donate water for example that karma of donating water when a person has diabetes that is out of control using varun deuta worship you know when we're doing prayers this is just a tidbit side we 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 have the moment where we're calling the deuta to sit in the water inside that kalsa when you are a diabetic that worship is paramount because the corrective action to help with diabetes please listen to this stupid pundit tonight is chanting the varun gayatri varun deuta has a name called arham by using his mantra if you like that 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 please whatsapp me I'll, I'll put up the link I'll, you'll join the ashram group i'll put my phone number out, send my message i'll send it when we talk like this the truth is depending on the problem if karma what our text see according to karma you have immediate reactions okay so if i do this sin i get this problem we spoke about that last night if i go to court and i give false witness in my next life my eyes will not look okay then there must be a exact correlation to positive karma if i offer clove for example i'm asking you to this tonight send me a message if you know this why do you offer clove in durga puja make a chance to answer everybody went to puja and we saw the lapsi and sohari with two clove in the durga dar clove you buy it in the puja store clove is there clove 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 not make clove um um when you do the wedding and it make any kangan how you just call it in jawain jawain when you're doing different jawain jawain is used to pull different things off the person that was a hint but spices is always used very intricately in our press full spice um and you see the difference different moment different pujas right you mix it in the sweet rice and you offer it you offer it in the prasad why please remember this lawang or clove is offered in the somvar bread and one of the monday i believe is the seventh monday the person has to eat clove in the night that's part of the work to do it properly if you again if you want the information just send me a message i'll do it up very nice and a procedure for you and you will be guided to do it properly not just go and do our prayers on a monday definitely not more to that i want you to see that there's particular flowers there's things for you to do in the night things for you to do in the morning it really takes the karma off for you because it takes effort if something is too easy it is not going to work clove or any spice is offered to durga inherent she's in charge of the fire element and when you offer this when there's heated this spice you give shit and what is the reaction in your life when there's heated argument this or this how many argument court matter etc sickness fever it is going to break have you ever gone somewhere and see somebody jarring with clove and when they finish the burden have you ever heard of people putting lapsi and sohari and putting clove in the dar for mother clove please remember that's why when you do it you have one and you see rice sugar gogol black tea all these different the clove is offered at om swaha so that my house must be blessed my life my job my marriage my my sister and brother relationship must be blessed with peace we offer these things but we don't know why we doing it likewise when the person is given water in charity when the person is offering water and i don't mean to say offer the water the reaction is one of one of the benefit one by pleasing varun deuta diabetes or the sugar in your blood starts it doesn't cure i'm not lying it starts to control so people don't have gangrene amputations nerve problems etc it comes under control likewise if you use your prayers your dharma i'm a hindu i worship ganesh in my family our family deuta is lord shiva and you use your dharma you don't just let it drop I don't care. I the wife, the wife could do anything. She will take care of the children. She will. She know everything. Is. She will do it. And you drop your dharma. You kick your dharma like a dog. You abuse it by neglecting your dharma, and you fail to use your youth and your strength to do the correct thing. The day 
when you have to pay for your karma like Chandrama, Garbrand Prick Manjali first chapter says the sinful person, how do you know it's a sinful person? They become like a house dog that has lost their teeth and their bite and their back. They become riddled by disease and still they don't know about praying because one fella tell me, Babs, I don't need to do all them prayers. I don't need to fast. I don't need to do none of that. Lord Krishna say, because I hear my wife pundit say this. My wife pundit, you know, people are You know, people are My wife pundit say, if I say God's name in my last moment, I'm going to God. All right. All right. That's true. That is true. Throw two bags of cement in front of me now. Listen to me, God. Kirk, my bro. Throw two bags of cement. Here. 50 pounds a million is a bag of cement, bro. 50 pounds. I'm going to 50 pounds. If I run, Kirk. Kiss the bag. Lift them to them. Babs could probably read a book, but he can't lift two bags of cement. I'll be honest with you. I never lift weights. I never try, never train this muscle to lift two bags of cement. Some people could do it because they are accustomed. As they say, I, I can lift that. I, I show it on my man watching me right now. Say, oh God, for it is shameful. If you lift two bags, I can lift ten bags. There are people who could do that. Because they are accustomed. Because you practice. Because you could do it. You've done it before. So you build a habit. So... According to my friend, in my last life, I will just jump in my last moment of my life, sorry. I will jump up and jay vishu. Good. You never practice, you never train this muscle. I didn't train this one. You didn't train this one to think about God. So, recently there was a, a, detriment, a fatal accident on the M2 ring road. And these moments happen where people are cut short their life without any warning, without cause, an accident. And definitely not their fault, but they died nonetheless. If we don't know the future, if God is to come for you, and you are not practicing the muscle to train that when the jet bite me, when the ants bite me, when the wife hurt me, when the children disappoint me and pain coming, it coming, oh God, oh God. You hear about saying, oh God, dear God, how much people, if you get in a very bad accident right now, with a flat tire like me in my example last night, how much people will say, dear God, we are alive, thank you. How much people got touched the multi? But I don't know now, boy, I feel like I cussed it, I like I struck, I like say something. All right, so my friend think he's so great that your whole life you never say a name of God. You know the name of God. You're a stranger to goodness and godliness. But in your last moment, you are so good, it will just come to you. I didn't train my muscle my whole life. This, I probably have more down here than on top here, to be honest. And I would go and make a fool of myself trying to lift two bags of cement. You can see people laughing at me. And what do you think God would do to people who live like that by not training this? Manus prayer says, if I don't have a multi, I don't have a temple to attend, I can still close my eyes and pray. People do it every day in taxis. Women who, again, the good looking woman who have to deal with out of time in taxi drivers, who can't don't tackle them and tell them how nice they is, like you and know you're nice yourself. When you think about what people have been talking about, it's a funny thing. I imagine I need you, the taxi driver, to tell me I good looking. I didn't know that when I stepped out this morning. And this type of oppression, you could imagine the heart and mind of these ladies sitting down in the car, God, let me just reach back going, Om Namah Shibaya, Om Namah Shibaya, black tail in the post, mustard seed in the post, God in the post, Lord, what are gain to protect me from this type of adharmic behavior? But when you have your dharma, you have to stand strong. One day you'll do that discourse. Remember, Krishna tells Arjun, we tried Samdam Bid, we tried to talk to Duryodhan, we tried to negotiate, we tried to bribe him with the throne, we gave him everything, all he left and all he left everything. And Duryodhan still wanted blood. So you know what? Take up your bow, brother, and deal with this. Today you have to fight.
the day the wrong have to stop. And if in your life you are on that, that type of suppression and oppression, it begins with you. It begins with you. If you are facing, like what we talk about, what a, um, a Chandra Mantra does, if the moon is giving you a grab, what does it cause? How does it look? If you have depression, if you have these type of problems, if you have problems in your marriage, then the, the solution is the Somvar Vrat. These methods and mechanisms that constitute your Dharma. This is what make you who you are. Look at the intricacy of Sanatan Dharma. I could explain epilepsy. In other religions, God made everybody. God made man perfect. So when somebody's child has epilepsy, what is the cause of that? Why did my child have that? There's an explanation in Hinduism and there's a solution, a pathway to control it. It will not cure, but you could control it. And why is it in the moon? Ask any patient. Ask any patient who has epilepsy. What happens to them around the moon, around the full moon? The same thing happens to the sea. The same things happen to the woman. In Padmapuran, this discourse is given and a few details of that shroud where the moon was given additional curse. You want to lust behind women? You want to touch, remember I told you in the discourse from Shipran, when Lord Shiva says, you know, not only did he do what he did in his marriage, but he stole another man's wife, Tara, from the planet Jupiter, Vyaspati. We mentioned it, but in that discourse now, he gets a shroud. When you are at your potent, most powerful, what we call the full moon, what happens, people? The ocean, because the magnetic, why does the moon look big? It comes a little closer to the earth. So the water now with the magnetic pull, the water starts to get big. The water once again rough. The same calm, tranquil water changes. And your body, your body is constituted of different types of liquid. And when that moon is coming, you ever hear somebody say moving like the moon? As the moon is changing, your mood is changing. It interferes with the person's persona. They start to get grouchy. They start to get irritable. They start to get um, overly hungry. 11 o'clock in the night, they turn out the house. Children become hyper. They can't sleep. They become cry, cry. All kind of problems. Moon. One example of that is where epilepsy. In Gurbran, epilepsy is caused by spitting on your guru. Guru Purnima. When you ill speak and you harm and hurt your guru behind his back, you feel you have gyan in your next life. The brain, so much of thinking, electrical energy. So much so they will have to put a pallet or a spoon in your mouth now to hold the tongue from choking yourself. When you see somebody with epilepsy and they slam their jaws down on their tongue, they'll cut off their own tongue with the force, but they're helpless. You feel sorry for somebody messing yourself, urinating on yourself. In this kind of situation, people die with it if there's nobody to help them. Why? Why would God allow that to happen to somebody? Honestly, because of karma. When you ill speak guru, when you ill speak and harm, guru is not only pundit. I said that the first night. I said it the second night, guru is mommy and daddy too. Guru is the teacher in the school, so all those children who are harming and hurting, you're only harming yourself. You're only doing it to yourself, truthfully. That is karma, and that is what makes us Hindu. And then it goes one step forward. This is what we're doing tonight, how to solve the problem. And in doing these things, the person who have epilepsy, the person who have depression, the person who have impotency and related problems, it have ways to shanty that moon. You want to go again? Let me go again. One more tidbit. The moon, remember it in Padma Purana, he said, you cannot go close to women. You want woman, woman, woman over tantalizing you. When you become 
powerful and you become most robust and bright and you are most luminous into the world all there are certain prayers such as that some barbara where you go in moonlight and you're looking at the moon and you're doing how to get certain city certain certain benefit when you have certain sickness and you want to overcome it there are things you could do one of the parts just like how i tell you you have these grapes in the night and little odd rules that might not sound familiar to you one of those things like in the satyanara and drop you have to watch the moon you have to look up at the moon part of the prayer so in that time in the moon there could be blessing herbs different types of shrubs they shine Shining bush, the bush that we just bathe the girls with when they make the baby, etc., that have antiseptic properties. The purpose of that bath is because of the, 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 the herbal benefit. A terrible way it talks about that. The herbal benefit of that bath is not any bush. Somebody went and cut the lawn and take this, the, the Bermuda grass, the savanna grass, and take that and bathe the daughter. That had no value. Maybe you didn't understand the potency of certain grass certain herbs like why you offer knee leaf and puja when people doing shital devi when same durga where did knee leaf come from shital devi puja and it's so applicable now with the pandemic because that is what you worship she for that's the lady with the um, cocaine broom you know when people sit and they put cocaine broom there's a, a tutka in hinduism where we put a cocaine broom upside down in your room and the fever or sickness or whatever goes comes from shital devi shantipat likewise hinduism identifies the cause of your problem and then identifies the positive karma or the solution to your problem and by following your dharma following your prayer pattern and prayer mechanism a person can save themselves chandrama is told when you become full while maybe some people pray while bushes growing to help people charge with the energy of the moon meaning they say when you pick certain herbs like kongalala when it's full moon and you have bath or you drink it, it helps you more. Understand where I'm going with that. What happens to the ladies when it's full moon? He wanted to rape. I be mean, I use any word, rape. Have sex with all kind of women. Have you ever noticed that around full moon time with the magnetic pull, the lady who is pregnant, you can't go and touch she. She's going to deliver that baby. Baby is coming. You see full moon coming? Ask any midwife. Ask any gynecologist. If you pass that full moon, love, God bless you. Two days before, two days after, child coming. Once you close to your due date. A month before, two weeks before, the moon definitely, correct me if I wrong, has an effect on the pregnant girl. If we have an eclipse, Baba, when is the eclipse? What to do, what not to do? So I can't lie down because the moon is radiation would interfere with the child growth and burn the umbilical cord where it attaches to the child so sometimes cause miscarriage depending on how you know how far along in the in the pregnancy you are some people might say stupid until they learn a lesson until they get the experience why why would you want to suffer the pain of a of a stillbirth because you wanted to test your dharma you don't have vishwas you don't have faith in your dharma then you do, you're not a good Hindu, you're, you're not following Hinduism. If you want to follow Hinduism, learn about it, show interest and show Vishwas, show that faith, hold to it, believe in something, have a character, don't just be doubted. Lord Shiva tells, he tells Chantrama in Padmapura, when you are at your peak, women, will not be able to be in a way for you to touch them. So the pregnant girl goes into labor and the normal woman, correct me if I'm wrong, one of the hardest prayers for a lady to get to do in youth is Satya Narayan Puja. Because all respect to everybody, for that monthly cycle, for that period not to come, when it's full moon, and the full moon coming, it's coming, it's coming, the lady becomes unclean. How many people prepare for yoga, prepare for Shivratri, prepare for something, and it's spoiled. The history of that mechanism is founded in 
the shrap that Chandrama gets because of his actions against women. And it is as if he is despised, he is shunned, he is ridiculed by the same women. And that is why those things happen. Principle Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai. Like this, our worship is our way out of our trouble. And I want you to understand the value of your Shraddha, your devotion, your faith. Why do we worship? Why do we pray? Because this is the positive karma that will cut away the negative karma. If at a minimum, I have a problem and I want to fix my problem. Do you, when you're holding, think about this for the doubting person. The doubting person, the person who doesn't understand what you're supposed to do. When a person is confused, and they don't understand the correct thing, they don't know what to believe in. They don't know what they believe in. They don't know what they are. They have no idea of their identity. And this is why I'm harping on who is a Hindu and why are you a Hindu. And I have been touching on certain words to introduce these words to the young and the young at heart. Vishwas, Shraddha, and the concepts there. But that person doesn't know their Dharma and the purpose of worship to help your karma or to solve your, your, your problems in life. Dharma says that a brahmachari or a child prays one way. A grihasti prays a different way. Vampras prays a different way or for different things. And a sannyasi, he prays different too. When a lady puts on the Tulsi Mala or the Vik, she would pray dif different. Think about just simple example. I'm 12 years old, Saraswati Mata, bless me to pass my exam. Let's pray. 25, the Lord bless me to get through the mortgage. 55, God, my daughter went to make the baby tonight. Bless you to make that child safe. Shashti Mata, bless that child to come out perfect. And every day you see a grandchild, you pray for protection. Because your life become your grandchildren. For every grandmother and grandfather here, tell me if I'm wrong. Forget the children. When you're in Vampras, let them learn, let them burn, let them make their mistakes, let them do that. Enjoy your grandchildren and train them properly. Give them the time and the love you did not give your own children, truthfully. Sanyas is when the grandchildren get fed up by you now. The grandchildren start to get big and you prepare to go back to your Shiva. And you start to think about yourself and you start to turn your life around. And you start to pray to God for salvation or moksha. So in your Dharma, it talks about the, the, the ashrams. This is unique to Hinduism because there's no other religion that tells you when you're before marriage, act a particular way. When you're married, act a particular way. When you are in this third stage, act a particular way. Let me say grandparents. When you're in the last stage of your life, be self-reliant, be self-sufficient. Learn to take care of yourself. Be calm. Give up a hunger. Give up ego. Give up these things. By then, if you have a tower, a sill, a mortar, a pestle, give it away. Don't hold on to these things. Don't, don't be running down money. Don't be the 70 year old running down the 19 year old girl. That is not according to your dharma at your age. When you follow that dharma and you use as a tool your worship to live properly. Following Vrat, we did it tonight. We touched on Som Vrat. In the last three nights I did, we did Payo Vrat. When we were praying for children, when we want to conceive how a husband and wife make a child. To, to follow the rules, how to do it properly. I, I went through that with you. People hear about Vrat, people hear about Puja, but they don't understand the link between that Puja and my life. And this is, I'm just repeating, when your life has problems, that Puja is the solution. It's just you don't know the value, for example, of offering water, or offering water in the dark. It helps with the problem that you have called diabetes. 
by pleasing Varunyuta in the mantra, for example. And likewise, we offer clove and all these other things. And when you use your dharma, your beliefs, your shraddha, you do it the right way now. You know, when you're small, your mother will say, Come, come, touch my hand, I'll do it now. Come, come, touch my hand, I'll find that. And then one day, mommy, I want to do it myself. And then one day, you get Krishna, do it yourself. Now you're going to do it on your own. Come on, it's your birthday. We have in puja. The parents are the persons who are supposed to instill this as a habit. And you love your habits. You love your traditions. And in doing it, the teacher, if the parent cannot give you enough knowledge, then we put in the hand of a competent guru who will then take you further. And in your life, you meet different people and you will have many teachers to help lift you. And in lifting, you lift out of what? You're climbing out of what? The ignorance, the darkness of being so dumb and not without knowledge. In Gita, I talk about what is demonic. An example of a demonic person is a person that does not know what is the right thing to do. They're always on. They're always on. They never know what is the right thing to talk about. They're very fidgety. They, they, they laugh when they're supposed to cry or stay quiet. And the opposite. So they're always, you know, uncomfortable coming back again the inferiority complex. The saintly people know how to enter a temple. Saintly people are comfortable in their skin. They overcome, even if from a hormonal perspective, let's say in a menopause scenario, because of death, because of a trauma, a person might have anxiety. I'm not talking about that. But when you have that divine persona because of your character, meaning how you carry yourself, and that comes from karma, then even if a traumatic moment happens, you will be able to overcome it very easily because you know what is the right thing. You know what I need to do? I need to meditate. I just need a little time on a morning, something, you know, a bad argument happened in the house, and I just need to catch my breath a little bit, and I just need to go by the seaside and just dip my water in the salt water, I just need to sing my bhajan, I just need a long bath and I will center myself and I will find myself and I will come out of this depression. I will overcome it. How many people have a problem and they don't know how to help themselves? Lord Krishna talks about that. And he still says if you can't help yourself, you have a guru that will show you guru, darkness, ignorance, the person who brings the light, ru. The light out of the ignorance. So I didn't know how to help myself, but now you know. So come out of it. Behave. You ever get buff? Stop your stupidness. Behave. You're crying because you're going to fail maths. Study your book, you'll pass the maths. Guru. That's why mommy is guru. Daddy is guru. And that is equally important. The role of the man is imp imperative. In our dharma, part of our dharma is fighting for your home. Eh? Working together, nobody says it's easy when you have to do all that parents do, especially in today's world. Respect the parents in this world looking on today. But you follow your dharma. You do what is right. You be honest. You be fair. You be empathetic. You be sympathetic. You be compassionate. You took that deal from somebody's house. And somebody else would have treat you like a doll. You treat her like dirt. Change that. Change that. Learn from Zoom tonight. Learn from the moon tonight. Don't be repulsed. Don't be like that. Karma. Karma is not nice. Karma is not nice. Prem Shabal Adi Shakti Mataki Jai. Tonight, as I'm drawing to the end, somebody asked me about Shravan. What is Shravan? I want to touch on the history of Shravan, this mass, this month of Shravan. Let's enter into Bhagavad for a short discourse, powerful discourse nonetheless. Put your hand together at this point as we go to Krishna. Redhi Sedhi Data Sedhi Sadhana Badana Badana Sumiro Madana Kadana Kilalako Ganapati Kripani Dhan Gyanakani Ananda Bhavana 
देव मोई वरदान वरनो बाशा भागवत जय शिवानंद खांड भूतनाथ भव भय हरना भक्ति विषय निर्वाण गौरव धन मंगल करना रेधि से दाता से शरण बारन वरना सुमिरो बारंबाद मदन कदन को लाल गोविंद रावण या लाल की जय आई लव हिम भागवत आई रिम बाई फोर्स दिंग दैट आनोल कलदी सापटनी this was i i grew up you were singing in in the stand in brooks and i was a young boy and he sat on he's a policeman and he sat on the stage and we he would in the mark i didn't know it i didn't know the tune i had a copy and he has a copy and he's singing and i chorus it and from that first bhagavat when i read that i've always i all i always love i love to read bhagavat i love my krishna tonight we end the where man it skand Chapter Eight of Bhagavad Puran. Durbasa Rishi had listened to the trap of Lord Shiva. Durbasa Rishi, the incarnation of Lord Shiva, made a mala and he gave it to Indra. Indra takes it. He's a, he's a little out of sorts. He's kind of drunk, and he throws the mala on the head of his elephant. I got big king Namuni who gave me a mala, no gold. This, the the money saw it and he got angry, and he says, "I have gifted you a great gift. Parijar flowers is a wonderful gift. That animal would be blessed with the Lakshmi. Have you ever seen Lakshmi Mata with elephants? Gajal Lakshmi, watch in front. Are you thinking here? Is the elephant Indian people in our dharma, in our culture? We adorn our homes with elephants because of this moment. It brings Lakshmi to the home. Did you know that?" Vastu Shastra says, decorate your front, decorate your doors, decorate with elephants, and you will always have prosperity. Indra became powerless and lustreless, and when everything started to fall apart because of it, they are guided. Go and turn the ocean. Have you heard of this? Samudra Madan. Go and turn the ocean. So they get a mountain, they get a big snake. Long story short, and they start to turn. Lord Vishnu, when the mountain was going down into the earth as a drilling line, he takes the form of the tortoise, that incarnation, and the mountain is spinning on his back to hold it from going into the earth. Lord Vishnu does that as penance, as he's praying for his Lakshmi to come back. Let's hear what happens. नारायणा कृष्णाय परमात्माय नमो नम नारायणाय कृष्णाय परमात्मा निर्मल मंदर कलकुता बुद्धिशा मलाभ्येत हल हल हृदय घृतया ते संभ्राती मुनियेत शंभूनाथ कैलाशनाथ मिंगल ये कुल ये आती नारायणाय कृष्णाय परमात्माय नमो नम आज दी Friends, Lord Shri Vishnu Bhagwan ki jai. As the water started to churn, all the fishes, the crocodiles, the sea serpents, the tortoises, the whales, the sea elephants, alligators, whale eaters, different different species now extinct. All of them became agitated because the halalal poison is coming up. What is the halalal poison? Unbearable poison, black in color. That means Calcutta. Calcutta is that type of poison from Skandhuran. It tells you that this poison was what was cast there, what was placed there by man. The 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 
contamination, the pollution that man had caused had formed a black layer on the surface of the deep dark waters of this ocean. And now it was agitated and like a black ribbon it came up to the surface and animal life in the water started to suffer. Everybody became afraid because now as it came up the whirlpool, see it in your mind? The water it, on the surface now, it starts, to de it starts to be there. And not only is the liquid potent and deadly poison, the vapor started to affect all birds, all deuters, everybody, the demons, everybody was choking. In India, one writer wrote a commentary on this. And he says the halal poison could be from what we call crude oil. The poisonous, that's a, that, that, that valuable entity. We can't stand the scent of it. The, 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 the oil spill could damage everything, kill everything, black in color. Nothing could survive if that is there. Everybody starts to cry out to Lord Vishnu, save us, save us, save us, save us. And he says, go to Lord Shiva. Go to him. Brahma and all the deutas, there is a, a, a long stotra that is chanted here. Kushta Samudra Girijapati Snana Linge Bhavayatam Romani Sarvesham Sri Varunasya Vishwadataya Chandamasi Chandapati Chandi Idam Sri Satya Dhatta Vasta Yami Yatamana Hridaya Sarva Dharma In your body have all the meters of the veil. In your body, have all, in your abdomen, have all the plants, all the bodies, all the herbs, all the hairs, everything comes from you. When a person enjoys the herb and the herbal benefits of boiling teas, bathing with different things, it is coming from your body as you make it potent. The Dharma as enunciated in the Veda comes from your heart, it is your message as you are the physical embodiment, O Shiva, of these three veil. This is before they are not referring to a terrible veil. The other veil give the science of devotion. Listening to this prayer, Sukhdev Goswami telling Raja Parikshit, observing the calamity that all the devotees, human, all life is going through. Sati Devi, Uma Mata says no. You are not going, listen to this part. She says, you are not leaving here to go and deal with that poison. I forbid it. Lord Shiva has to speak to her. All the children are begging mother and father for help. And mother says, uh-uh, you ain't getting up to go and do that. Please listen to this discourse. Lord Shiva says, oh, what a pity. Oh, Bhavani, look at what is happening to all your children. What calamity has, has fallen upon these children, these creatures, the poison of the Kala Kut or the dark, the black that has come from the depths of the ocean. It does not come to you to have compassion, to protect them. These are your children. You have to save their life for the protection of the afflicted. This is the true sign of a powerful person. For a powerful person to be powerful, they must do dharmic actions. They must be magnanimous. They must be compassionate. Dear Devi, this does not become you. You are the mother of all. Saintly people protect those that depend on them. A husband who is dharmic here tonight, please listen to me. Who would protect a wife better than a husband? Who would love a wife better than a husband? Who would guide and counsel a wife? Lord Shiva is the one who talks to Sati. I don't think you should go to your father. No, you wasn't invited to that prayers. I don't think you should go. He shows you and he's telling you now. The saintly person sacrifices their life and comfort for the regard of those that are helpless. Let's say adults do what they have to do for children. Look today, there are people who don't want to take the vaccine. But they will take the vaccine to safeguard the children, put it so. Oh, auspicious lady. When Sri Vishnu sees 
a man extend mercy to those created beings, to those people, to those entities, to those forms of life that are lesser than, that are in need of help from the enemies in this life. That glorious Sri Hari Vishnu is happy and pleased with them. They know great satisfaction. They know great happiness. Why would you rob me from knowing the happiness of my Mahavishnu? Why do you give me that type of counsel as a wife to not to make my God happy? Let me, if I am Mahadev, if I am the greatest Devta of all, why did Lord Shiva have to hold that poison? He is Mahadev. He is the greatest of all. He is the one who is called upon. You ever hear somebody say, the buck stops with me? This is what he is telling her. The love in this wife is holding him back. Don't go in front. Think about any wife of a police officer. And you'll understand it. Why you have to go and fight the body. Why you have to go in front of the gun. Why you have to go in front of the bandit. And risk your life. He says blessed is the person. That protects the innocent. Blessed is the person. That looks after those that they have to protect. And that person that is given the opportunity to save individuals. Feed individuals. Feed them. Feed them. Those people will know me in my true form. Those people will come to me. In doing your dharma, you will find the liberation that you're looking for. But running like a coward from being a husband, from being a protector, from being a father, where will that carry you? Where will that lead your soul? When you are called upon, when you are supposed to lead your children in prayer, and you do it now, you go do it. I go drink, I go eat, I have to watch my phone and scroll through Facebook to see which other woman I could pick up. When that becomes your focus and you forget your daughter and karma comes round, you want to treat somebody's daughter bad? Don't be surprised, friend. Mark this stupid pundit word tonight. You treat that girl, you put that sinur on your forehead and you make a pledge between you and your God that you will honor take care and show compassion and love you'll be a good husband you'll follow that dharma to that girl don't do it you have a daughter things happen when when lord shiva threw the trishul he's acting again when he threw the trishul and he take off ganesh baba head narad muni wants us how come Gan lord shiva do that this Lord Shiva, who is the master of this world, and we just say he's Mahadev, he didn't know that was his son. What type of example is this? That the God of the Hindu killing little children. Oh, what a bad example. And what the explanation Lord Shiva gave, in a nutshell. He says years ago, before Ganesh was born, I was in a battle with the gods against the demons. Sumali and Mali, two brothers that were very demonic, waged war against the Deutas. And I raised my Trishul as Sumali came in my vista. As I saw him and I had him, I charged my Trishul and I was ready to let it go. And when the moment came, I let it loose. And when I let it loose, Suraj Narayan came in between us. And Surya Devi's son took the Trishul on his chest and became lifeless. And the father, listen to this, in case this confuse anybody, listen to it. The father of Surya Narayan Swami is Kashyap Muni. One of the Munis, the Sapta Rishi, one of them. From the son of Brahma. Last time, we were, night before, we were talking about Atri Muni, Kashyap Muni, his brother. Kashyap Muni is holding his dead son now in his lap. And he says, oh Shiva, oh Shiva, boy now, his son is dead. Why did my son have to die? My son is your friend. And my son is dead. I put a shrap on you. Karma is coming for you. Just as my heart is breaking. A father is saying this. Just as my heart is breaking because of what you have done to my child. One day you will know this pain. And you will cause this pain by that same Trishul. You will do it to yourself and you will hold the lifeless body in your hand and you will know the agony 
I have now. Lord Shiva had to take the strap, he take it, the karma, he don't do the action, he take it. And by the power of Lord Shiva, by the power of Kashyap Muni, they bring back Sir Narayan. Sir Narayan Swami said, Daddy, what you do? What you do? He didn't mean to hit me. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It was an accident. So Lord Shiva, I bless you. You see when your son falls, he go get back up. Just look at you. I bless you now. But it had to come. Lord Shiva says, I was no different. I had karma. In that moment, in that discourse, it is explained because of karma. The sins of the father fall on the child. The child went through that hurtful experience. He loses his head because of what the father does. Devotees tonight. Devotees tonight. I'm, I'm focusing on my gentlemen. Your dharma is to be a good husband and a good father. Wake up and smell the coffee. Because before the coffee is only sharing in your week, before you get too late, change your ways. Lord Shiva says, Devi, my job as Mahadeva is to take care of all that come to me. When they come to me, when they come to me, there is no way else to turn. I have to stand. And this is the pit here where you see him catch the poison. He drags it together and there was no place to put it. There was no place to rest it down, no planet. It would have poisoned, the vapor would have poisoned the entire creation. Some people say, why you didn't put it in a bottle? It have burned through the bottle, children. Why we didn't put it somewhere else? There was no place that this would have been safe. In different Greek cultures, in different cultures, they talk about similar type of poison damaging the world. When they talk about Pandora box and different things, it is of the same premise. Lord Shiva, being the hero, he says, I will ingest it. And when he held it up, Sati Mata was not happy. She was not in approval of this move. But Lord Shiva has to show compassion. He could not see as simple as the fishes dying because of it. Sati Mata grapples his throat and squeezes here and she says drink if you must drink drink and when he started to drink the poison his lips his teeth his mouth inside according to Bhagavad and different Vishnu Puran says it it started to get black for this reason when a person is doing so bad but you see the focus on brushing the teeth with the different chemicals the different herbs if you could offer Shiv Baba when you're doing um, Bandara and you're offering Pongolala, one of the reasons we worship him with herbs is moments like this to help him. His body started to burn and the throat becomes blue. Nila Kant is, Kant is this year. The throat, Nila means blue. He gets the name and mother held the poison here. This is how it does not go further because she knew if it went down, it would be more detrimental to him. Vasuki, the snake that is around the mountain, and I'm summarizing because of time, everybody. Listen, this is your Shiva. You see this fella here? How does Lord Shiva end up with a snake around his neck? Vasuki says, my Lord is in trouble. My Lord is in trouble. Imagine you're in that position, that you could serve God. He says, my God is in trouble. Saki Mata, I, I brought up that poison. And because of that, he is in trouble. Mother, you can't stand up there, hold there and hold his throat. One day, you will move and that will cause. I am going to spend the rest of my life around his neck. Listen. I will remain my sewa as his gunner, as his worker, will be to adorn his body and to take the muscles of the snake, the muscles of the snake, they digest food by wringing their body like this, and I will constrict around his neck and cut the Adam's apple to hold the poison in place. That is why the snake is there. Many people don't understand this. They say, what kind of craziness are they praying to? Pray to? This is a life-saving mechanism for our sheep bar. Because that halal poison is so potent. This but sacrifices his eternity to be happily around the neck of Bhagwan. Vasuki wraps his neck around his neck and he's able 
to hold, to breathe with freedom now for the hand of Satimata. But that poison started to burn. And this is where Ganga Mata comes from to keep him cool. But who else is cold? The bat. The person who is purified. The person who is given salvation. The devotee of Lord Shiva. The person who makes the Somvarvra popular. The moon is called. When your energies bloom, all the herbs, you have the energy. He is believed to, one of his names, to give the herbs their healing powers. Come now and sit on his head and keep him cool. So he became Chandra Shekhar, the lord of the moon. The moon gladly sat on his head and remained there. The only time that moon left, just as the father does, Ganesh does. Just as the father does, the child will follow. Ganesh Baba and Ganesh Puran, there was a moment when Sindhura Ganapati is about to happen. There was this demon, Sindhura, he wants to touch and burn everything. Long story short. Ganesh Baba engulfed he too, swallow him whole. And in that picture, you will see they try to put Ganga and they try to put the moon on Ganesh to keep him cool. That is where the discourse that tell you why you offer Ganesh Baba the Dugras. When Durbasa Rishi was passing, he says, put Dugras on Ganesh's head and it will take away all the trouble. Indra didn't want to hear it. But eventually, when trouble, nothing awoke him. The moon awoke him, the Ganga awoke him. Parvati Mata, the humble mother, says, Please save my child. Money come. And he take the no grass with the tree sprang like this, and he rests it on the forehead, and immediately the belly pain gone. Ganesh Baba from that moment says, What herb is this? If my prayers does not have do grass, it is incomplete. Yet again, an illustration of how when parents leave, children following that example. Where did that braveness to, to, to absorb a demonic force that was damaging everybody come from? Maybe it's by the example his father gave. Shri Baba is the guru of this world and he leads by example. Never be a coward in your dharma. Krishna doesn't tell Arjun put down the bow. He tells him pick up the bow and fight for your dharma. You are a Kshatri, fight for your dharma. You are a husband, fight for your dharma, fight for your marriage. Don't fight to break your marriage. Fight, go to the counseling sessions. Think before you talk. Stop drinking alcohol and please stop beating the girl. Stop cheating on the girl. Stop it. Remain and fight for your dharma. Show your children what is the correct thing to do. And stop being a demonic person. Come out of that. Tonight, the month of Shroud is in commemoration of this discourse where this snake and this blue throat, where the moon came on his head, when this is put together. Shroud is the word, it is one of the bhaktis. One form of bhakti as elucidated when Sri Ram is speaking to Shabri Mata, one discourse, that is not the only place, but it is found here. And Sri Ram tells her about the different form of bhakti, tells her of Shravanam. Shravanam. Shravanam is the act of listening, just like what we're doing now. We go to Yagya to listen to prayer. And we listen to discourses pertaining to Prabhu, to, to Bhagwan. And when you hear about Bhagwan and you hear about these leelas and you think and you absorb it and you want to apply it to your life, and you understand firm in your dharma, you understand your karma, you understand your role in this life, you understand the purpose of devotion, you're going to get it right. You're going to get the absolution that you're looking for. You're going to get the salvation. You're going to get it. You're going to get good and healthy children. You're going to get a nice marriage, a comfortable living. These things are possible, but it takes the effort or the yagya, the sacrifice that a person has to exert the energy. What you put in, is what you're going to get out. Tonight, Shravanam was the name of the month when Lord Shiva swallowed the poison for you and I to still exist till today. Shravanam was given the name, that month was given that name because in this month, when you're worshipping Lord Shiva with the Lingam, the Crystal Lingam, doing Mertin Jai Jap, doing different mantras, calling 108 names in the Hawan, different things, in the evening time, you listen to his discourse, like what we've done today. 
He talked a lot about our Mahdi. If you didn't know anything before, tell me, did you know why he wears the snake around his neck? Why does he have the moon on his head? Why did the Ganga come here in the first place? Send me a message and share the satsang, please. Many people will benefit from it. This is our Shiva. And this is why we celebrate today. Today is day one of Shravana. And for this month, this is the month that many things happen. Next week I'm doing another three nights. And for this month I'm doing a yoga every week. Just like this. So that you will benefit. And I am telling you, you're going to grow. Trust in your dharma. Make the time. Sacrifice your time just to listen. Watch it on your phone. Just listen. Give the time. And you, you will get what you're looking for. You will get the help. Maybe you're in the doldrums of your life. And maybe you need to come out of it. You could get it. Maybe you're sick right now. Maybe you're sick in your head. Maybe you're making a, a mistake because of excessive drinking. Maybe you are sexually confused. Maybe complex problems. Let me agree. But by doing worship for the one that adorns with the moon, those problems, the predicament that the moon causes in a person's life, like what we talked about, the somgra, chandrama gra, epilepsy, addiction, etc., you would be able to walk out of it. Healing and help is possible if you use your devotion properly, if you use your shraddha, your faith properly, if it is like a tool. And if you do your, let's say, your little Shiva Puja on a Monday, now you know what to do. Shiva is your Monday. Get up and do your prayers. You want more information on it? Just send me a message. I'll put my phone number, WhatsApp me, and I'll send it to you. I have, this is not my, as, my, as my teacher the other day, Pandit Rajan from Chagona side. He says, nothing we have here, nothing in these books, nothing in this book is Keshava one or Rajan one. As he was, me and he was sharing ideas, he was teaching me. I love to sit by that man's feet. God bless that man. That is my guru. That is one of them. God bless him. We have to share this. If you want it, I have it. I'll give it to you. No problem. Put it to practice. Then you have one. Tonight, as I conclude, let's do just a couple of verses of a Mahatya. It says that the person who recalls the discourse of Lord Shiva drinking this poison, they are always going to have, just by listening, they are going to have the blessings of Sati Mata and Lord Shiva. That person who sees the image of the hustle to keep him cool, when the problems raise up into your life, solutions will calm it down. Pariksit, when he had drunk the poison, a little dribble, a little run, one drop ran down the lip and fell to the earth. And this was scavenged because it was taught to come from the body of Shiva by scorpions, serpents, poisonous plants, cobras, biting animals that have fangs, like let's say poisonous things, hurtful things like Ima, Jack Spaniel. They absorb that into their body. And because of this, these creations, these things remain on this earth till this day because it is as if they became somewhat, I don't want to say immortal, but their existence is never threatened. They have never gone extinct. Scorpions have always been there. Snakes have always been there. Different genus, different species, I agree. But the poisonous and the capability of the bite, that has never left because it came from the body of Shiva. And if a person should listen to this discourse with devotion and practice the breath of Shravan, that person would be able to overcome all forms of poison, sickness, septic systems, poison in your body, poison in your body, gangrene, etc. just by worshipping Shiva. After all, he's Triambaka. Mrityun Jai Mantra says, if I worship him, when death is imminent, when death is coming, he will save me even then. But you have to have faith in it. In our different yoga, in this month of Shravan, we'll discuss it. Please look out for the invite and look out for me this weekend coming. More to come. Get ready. Jove your hands down. Just two verses. I know I'm over time. Bear with me. Gita me param vidya brahma rup me sankshaya adamatra kshara nitya swamir uvacha padma mikha Om Gita Shastra Aham Tishtami Gita Mecho Aham Griham 
गीता ज्ञान उपश्रेन उक्तम पालया मया यहम I take refuge in the Gita. The Gita is my best of all. Oh, dirty matter! I protect the world from the Bhagavad Gita. The Gita is my best knowledge. Brahm Vidya, Brahm Rup. It is the highest science. It is the form. Let us read that translation for everybody. The Gita is the highest science that I have. It is a doubtless form of Brahman. Or the unseen, without form, energy that exists in everything, big to small, at the matra, or the prana, or the om. That is om. That om lives in the Gita, and the goodness, the energy, the all lives in the en in the energy of that Bhagavad Gita. Do you have a Bhagavad Gita in your home? How about we fix that? Get your Gita and keep it in your pressure. Always remember that. A good Hindu, a good Sanatanist, because of things like this. Today we have the Bhagavad Gita readily available. If the pundit comes to your home and he says, Oops, I forgot mine. Do you have yours? Be the type of Hindu that says, Yes, Bhagavad, let me go and get mine. And I know exactly where it is. And I get it for you. If this summer in Obama, don't be that person. Let us get it right. Let us be a good Hindu. Practice these little things and it will bring big amount of results in your life. Tonight, I thank you for your listenership. I thank you for all the questions and comments. There's a guy that needs help. His name is Alvin Suraj. Somebody tell him when I'm calling him to answer the phone. He's lambasting pundit that nobody's helping him. Okay, when people are calling you to help you, son, answer the phone. It isn't all that bad. People want to help you. Other pundits have seen your comments. You've been all over the place. And you want attention, I'm giving you attention tonight. Alvin Surat, answer your phone when people want to help you. Please understand that. Tonight, as we do Shivraksh Stotra, as we do that Ashivad part, this first night of our Shravan, tomorrow in the ashram, just to let you know, members have started, I'm doing Sunday because of people's work, local and foreign alike, people have started to arrange themselves virtually. I'm not doing anything in person. I want to be clear. I'm, I have no issues to be quite open and objective. I think it is a risky thing to encourage people to come to break the law, to come in the temple and to risk your life to come. So for the benefit of all because of these type of discourses with poison and sickness and we have sheep puja that there we could do people are getting involved and we are doing small groups and i am pray i am doing a physical offer but you're praying together with me virtually just like what you're doing now and we started this sunday and in the week who could do they are there if you'd like to get involved send me a message i'll put my my number up uh, if you're in the group send me a message get involved this is for your benefit. After all I've said tonight and last night and the night before, I'm also now offering you an opportunity. You won't have to make parasan. You won't have to pick flowers. You can if you wish, but you won't have to. I will do everything. Just view, just watch and show on them, listen. Listen to the prayers of Lord Shiva and get the blessings that is inherent. In the ashram, we are planning to do another hamper drive. I'll be in contact with everybody. But if you would like to be part of it, I'm not talking too much about it publicly because of what it is. It's helping people that need help, long story short. Everybody knows how I operate. I don't boast about those things. Everybody has a pride, but people need help and I just want to help them. If you'd like more information, speak to me one-on-one -on -one and I'll gladly give you that. And we could work together on that. The ashram is getting ready to start back with Pandit Rajin, Hindi class. Ramayan class, I am I am of the belief that we need to get more and more people, elders, people who have retired, and young people are like my pundits, young pundits who are now coming up, come and join the class. I'm not the teacher, I'll be a student myself. I'm always a student. When Shivanan Maharaj have his music class here, I am a student. I am a student in everything. And uh, I will be a student in the Hindi, the Ramayan, and then we are going to do music class with Guruji. Come September, we're starting back. Many things are happening, but everything is virtual for now. 
and it would be just as good. Material will be emailed to you, printed for you, and classes would be not too long, about an hour. But in that hour, every time you walk away, you walk away with something. So if you're interested in these things from young, young at heart, and the beauty of this online thing, wherever you live, it is as if we are opening the doors now. You could take part, you could be part of it. Today I registered some people with the hamper drive. One was from Spain, one was from South Africa, and one was from Safari. So the world just got a little smaller. What a wonderful opportunity. Please get in contact with me. I'm offering you the opportunity to join the WhatsApp group, to, to, to get into our mailing list, because when I have your address, from time to time I write letters, we send out information, we send out different things to people. The being in the ashram is very interactive. And I encourage that even if we are online and at distance. So the onus now is on you. I am giving you, you know when people are looking for a guru and they don't know a way out, they need guidance. I am at least trying. I, am, I don't know it all. And I definitely don't profess to have all the answers. I, I, I profess that he has all the answers, be clear. But if through this positive contact, this positive class, the people are competent like Shivanan and Pandit Rajendra, these people and this type of company could get you where you want to be. It might introduce you to somebody if you're looking for introduction, if you understand what I say. In this way, you'll find what you're looking for in the positive company. And in doing this, you will find the happiness for the retiree, for the sannyasi, for that age bracket. You might find the positivity that you're looking for. As a side note, everybody, please draw your hands as we do. Short Ashiva Park. Shiva Hare, Shiva Rama Sage Prabhu, Trivirata Panivarana He Vibhu, Aja Jani Swar Yadav Pahima, Shiva Hare. Vijayam Kuru Me Varam. What does that prayer say? Make me victorious. Make me happy. Make me blessed. Make me prosperous. In my life, make me victorious. In my marriage, make me victorious. Make me happy. In my job, make me prosperous. In my finance, make me prosperous. In my health, make me victorious over this cancer, God. The moon causes cancer. Help me to win. Kamala Lochana Rama Dayanidhi Hara Guru Gajarakshaka Gopati Shiva Taro Baba Shankar Pahimam Shiva Hare Vijayam Puru Mevaram E Prabhu O Shiram O Madev you are the supreme teacher. You are the supreme guru. Sri Ram, you are the supreme protector. You protect all life. You protected Gajindra, the king of the elephants, in the form of Mahavishnu. O embodiment of auspiciousness and unrighteousness, Lord Shiva, kindly protect me. Dear God, I have trouble, but I come to you with my head. Don't lay your head be too big. Go up a big head like me. Rest that small head, that humble head by his feet. Be better than me. Be better than Pandit tonight. And find the humility inside of you to change your ways. Jaya Yudhishthira Valdhava Bhopati Jaya Jaya Adita Punaya Payonidhi Jaya Kripa Maya Krishna Namos today. Shiva Hare Kuru Vijayam Kuru Mevaram. O Krishna, O beloved of Yudhishthira and Arjun, sons of Padu, you are the Lord of this creation. Again and again I humbly bow to you in reverence. O Creator of all the divine virtues and happiness that exist in this world. O Krishna, ocean of mercy, Kripa Maya, my adorations to you, Lord Shiva, make me victorious, make me happy, make me blessed, God, lift me up, Supreme Teacher, and take me out of this pain, this sickness, the trouble. If you want it, he's right here. Shiva Hare. Vijayam, Vijayam means victory. 
victory. Umapati Mahadev ki jai. May you be victorious, Mahadev. And where would you be victorious? But in my life. Where does God live? Right here. When do you need Him? Every day. When you are in trouble, when you are happy. Dear God, I am in trouble. Help me. Dear God, I happy. Keep me happy. That is prayer. Tonight I want to conclude. I again I apologize for the little over. I did start it and I'm sorry on both, both sides of that. I hope I have presented to you enough information in these three nights for you to feel as if when you walk away and learn something. Too often in our dharma, in our culture now, satsang has, has broken apart and it has, is as if it... It, 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 it dissolves, it, it, it went in the kind of dissolution kind of thing, where satsang is more of a performance. Satsang is more about singing and distractions. When you're supposed to go to prayers, to shanti and to calm and to feel the presence of the God in you, to learn, to come out of the satsang being edified, knowing that I have bettered myself because of what I have heard. But if we only focus on the drum and the organ and the rhythm and the blinking lights and the sound system, what could you hear? In that mode of distraction, are you learning anything? Then, devotees, then we must know what we are looking for. And if satsang is the dissemination of the God, the God and his teachings, the pundit is an interpreter, to give little examples, illustrations, so that the children, the one who doesn't understand too much, they could understand better their God and their Dharma. It is not the time to talk about tomatoes and I like roti and those type of things. It is the time to talk about those things that are relevant to your discourse and to your God. I hope tonight, I humbly submit, I hope tonight, that I did justice, justice to everybody. That in discussing practical things about life, we have discussed karma, dharma, and all the mukti, and all the different terminologies that make us Hindu. The different thinkings, the idea of turning the broom upside down, talking about taking um, herbal bath, and all these things. Why the moon interferes with a girl's monthly cycle or their brain when a person, male or female, is moody because of the different phase in the moon. And there's more things, there is more. The, 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 the description of what the soul vibe brought. There's so many things we talked about tonight, I know. And maybe I'll have to read it for you again. And maybe if you're watching this on YouTube, thank God for technology. If you want to recap this, go on my channel in YouTube, subscribe, and you'll be able to watch this whole thing again. And I bet you, if you listen to it again, you will something else will jump out to you. Something that you missed. Something that you did not take on or take heed to will speak to you. And that chit, that chit, or what is chit, such chit anand? The chit is that consciousness, that God that whispers to you, that tells you what to think, what to do. That God that sits inside of your consciousness and nourishes all your decision making. That is the chit. That you, you know what, I'm not going to work till you. You know what, I'm going to make time to offer a dar in the morning. You know what, I want to bow to that murti. Could I bow to that murti? That voice, that is God. And when you hear these things and you absorb it, each person will, have, will think differently. But when you start to follow your dharma, then I have fulfilled my job. Because of the COVID, many people are dying, many people are still very sick. Many people are afraid because of things like the variants. And when, at least through the medium of Facebook, thank you for Facebook, thank you for WhatsApp, thank you for YouTube and these mechanisms, forcing you now to learn about technology, elders, seniors, but it works. You could still be at a distance and we're still together. And you're still together with him. You're learning tonight. Remember why this snake came. Remember that. Why does he wear a snake around his neck? Today, as a Hindu, you can answer that. Why does he have a waterfall on his head? You can answer that. Why does he have the moon here? You can answer that. These little things, this is what Yagya is about. This is what Satsang. Satsang is the truth conversation, the truth meeting. That is what Satsang means. And it means that we are not talking about the pundit's opinion alone. We are talking about what God said. Everything is from the book. 
And when we do it like that, that is where the blessings flow. I hope that you enjoy my presentation. I hope you enjoy the information. And I'm sure there will be questions. Of course, we can't deal with everything in three nights. Sorry. But as I said, every weekend for this month of Shrawan, I will be reading. I will be reading wonderful things that I think people ask questions and it gives me inspiration to research. I did take research after I got sick, after taking the second vaccine, I got a little ill. In all fairness, I have issues such as diabetes and so on. So I think it caused a little issue there. It was major, a little body pain, fever, that kind of thing. And I took the long time to read and I found these wonderful discourses. And I found some others that I would love to share with you. If only you would be viewing next weekend. Alright? So tonight, everybody, let me say sitara. And please understand that the only reason there's no RT here. There's no Sida. I'm being very frank with you. I'm very straightforward. I'm talking to you. This is a person who loves you. This is a person who is giving up my time and my wife's time because we want to do this. There's, there's, there's no reward. It is just to talk about we Lord Shiva. I look at this as part of my prayer. This is part of my dharma. Doing my job as a pundit. I'm doing my job to make sure you have the information and you have the devotion, the opportunity to get to Lord Shiva. And I'm saying it again, if you'd like to get involved with Shravan, left to me, I'm doing Shri Puja every day for this month of Shravan. If you want to take part, send me a message. Send me a message on WhatsApp. Send me a message. Just give me a number, but I prefer the WhatsApp. I don't want you to put your phone number on Facebook. Elders, please don't put your phone, phone number on Facebook. I am the crazy one to do that. You don't do that. Go join the Ashram group and I'll put my phone number and just send me a message. Because of prayers and jab, sometimes I just can't answer the phone all the time. Pray my dancer, or I'll have to call you back. So leave me a message. I love WhatsApp. Everybody, tonight as I conclude, if I, because I talked some controversial things tonight and last night, if I said anything that was insulting or hurtful, I apologize. I also make a call for Alvin Suraj to answer his phone. Everybody saw the message. He said, all pundits are bad and no pundit eh, for nobody in 2021. God bless him. I love him. I love him. He need help and, you know, just have your phone, man. People will talk to you. All right? Everybody, sometimes you need help. And I'm saying, at least for myself, I can talk for myself. You have my phone number, I'll reach out. Send a message. I don't call because when I'm in prison, I can't answer the phone. Be very clear. With that, let's conclude now. Please put your hands together. Dear Lord, Lord Shiva, Durga Mata, thank you for tonight. Thank you the first night of Shrawan. Guru Purnima, we got to spend it with your discourse. We listen to Bhagavad, we listen to Gita, we listen to Skan Puran, we listen to Shri Puran. We had so much knowledge. Thank you for that. Thank you for allowing me to learn about you and the moon and you. Thank you for that knowledge about the moon and you. Nilakan, Chandrasekara, all these wonderful names. Thank you, Prabhu. What else could I say? Thank you. There's so much to say thank you for in your prayer home. Maybe you could say what stood out to you. Dear God, work in my life. Give me the strength to do what is my dharma to be righteous. Give me that. Let's say our final prayer. Twameva Mata Chapita Twameva Twameva Bandushcha Sakha Twameva Twameva Vidya Dravinam Twameva Twameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Twameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Prem Samaloma Pati Mahadeva Ki Jai Bona Putra Numana Ki Jai Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai Vindravan Bihari Lala Ki Jai Satya Sanatan Dharma Ki Jai 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 Siddharam From me and Priya everybody and those in the ashram All the members of the ashram Those people that encourage me Send questions and send those words that give me encouragement To keep reading and looking and finding the answers God bless you and God bless you all and from all of us with love. Love you. Love you. We need a little more love. Tell me what you felt in this year. Leave me a message. Come on and share this satsang, everybody. Share this. Prem Sabalom Mahapati Mahadeva Ki Jai. Sitaram and good night.